Hello and welcome. This presentation discusses useful background information for using the Oracle Enterprise Manager features supporting Kubernetes as a service with the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. You should have a basic understanding of Kubernetes before using the features described in this and related presentations, as these presentations do not describe how to use any Kubernetes utilities or management interfaces. This and other related presentations discussing Kubernetes as a service have been developed for the Oracle Private Cloud at Customer subscription customers. These presentations also apply to self-service users of Oracle Enterprise Manager with the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. Oracle Private Cloud Appliance version 2.4.3 introduces new features supporting Kubernetes as a service. The Kubernetes features described in this and related presentations are implemented through Oracle Enterprise Manager 13C, release 13.4, with release update 6. In addition to the base Oracle Enterprise Manager installation, the Virtualization, or VT, and Systems Infrastructure, or SI, plugins are required. The Kubernetes engine for Oracle Private Cloud Appliance automates and simplifies the provisioning of Oracle VM infrastructure and Kubernetes components to provide an integrated solution for Oracle Private Cloud at Customer and Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. Multiple configuration operations are performed by Oracle Enterprise Manager in response to any one of the service operations which include Create, Stop, start and delete a Kubernetes cluster. With Oracle Enterprise Manager 13.4, customers can use private cloud-based infrastructure as a service, or IaaS, to create Kubernetes clusters. After the private cloud administrator has enabled the Kubernetes support features, the private cloud user can consume quota-based Kubernetes resources in parallel with their existing private cloud self-service infrastructure framework. To support Kubernetes as a service, private cloud administrators must perform some essential network and storage configuration. Preparations include creation of a dedicated private network named K8S Private to support communication among cluster nodes. Only IPv4 clusters are supported in the private cloud environment. Additionally, administrators ensure that all DNS host names can be resolved. Oracle recommends using ZFS mirrored storage pools for robust, highly available storage in support of Kubernetes as a service. Self-service portal users are granted access through their role and then through association with the zones in which they are allowed to operate. An administrator imports the Kubernetes engine into all repositories supporting zones in which Kubernetes clusters are expected to be deployed. The Kubernetes engine is an open virtual appliance formatted OVA file. The file name must be all lowercase k8s-1-0-0 dot OVA. Zones, CPU, and memory quota are assigned to users by the private cloud administrator. A maximum of 255 Kubernetes clusters can be created in one Oracle private cloud appliance. One Kubernetes cluster can support up to 255 node pools. A Kubernetes cluster requires at least one static floating IPv4 address for the load balancer, regardless of whether the cluster nodes use DHCP or static IP addresses. Only one static IP address is required for a DHCP cluster. A Kubernetes cluster with a static network type requires static IP addresses for all its nodes and all addresses must be resolved by DNS. In this implementation, Virtual Redundancy Routing Protocol, or VRRP, is required to support the load balancer floating IP address. If other appliances or servers on the network are using VRRP, then you must use unique identifiers to prevent conflicts on the network. Always check with an administrator before assigning a VRRP identifier to a cluster. 
Kubernetes clusters built with the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance always contain three control plane nodes and a load balancer. A cluster can be created with one or more worker nodes. The DHCP type network option for creating a Kubernetes cluster always creates a cluster with three worker nodes. The static IP type network option for creating a Kubernetes cluster creates from one to many worker nodes as needed. Control plane nodes can have between 4 and 24 CPUs with a default of 8 CPUs, and control plane nodes can have between 16 and 393 gigabytes of memory with a default of 32 gigabytes. Worker nodes can have between 1 and 14 CPUs. The default is 4 CPUs. Worker nodes can have between 8 and 393 gigabytes of memory with a default of 16 gigabytes. To summarize, specific configuration is required by administrators to enable Kubernetes as a service and the features supporting it. The Oracle Enterprise Manager provides a simplified interface to deploy Kubernetes clusters performing many small tasks to accomplish the specific management task initiated. Self-service users must be granted the appropriate role and assigned adequate quota for cluster creation. The zones in which users can create clusters must be configured and access granted by an administrator. Please see the following related presentations for creating, stopping, starting, and deleting Kubernetes clusters. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.